This chart shows the uh, assignments that have occurred um, over the past 15 years to the disputed Hansen deed of trust that was originally executed on uh, July 15th, 2004 and recorded on July 22nd, 2004. The first assignment occurred in 2012, about three months after the borrower died. Baina, or Bank of America, was the servicing bank for the Hanson Deed of Trust, and that Baina uh, executed an assignment from MERS, the nominee for the beneficiary, to itself. In 2014, immediately after the HOA foreclosure sale occurred on August 15th, 2014, and the foreclosure deed was recorded on August 22nd, 2014. On the 9th of September, a couple weeks after the, the sale, Baina assigned its interest, if any, to Wells Fargo. Shortly thereafter, on December 1st of 14, Nation Star claimed to have the power of attorney of Baina in order to execute an assignment of Baina's interest to Nation Star, effective on October 23rd of 14, which is two months after the um, HOA foreclosure sale. On uh, 25th of February, five years later, 2019, Nation Star, acting as if it had Baina's undisclosed power of attorney and unrecorded power of attorney, rescinded its um, previous claim to have been assigned the beneficial interest of the Hanson Deed of Trust. They rescinded that uh, December 14 assignment. And so, as of a week after the end of discovery in the prior case, uh, Nation Star had no claim because it had rescinded the only claim it had had during the previous court proceedings. Immediately after it rescinded its, its claim and using the same uh, individual, in both cases, the individual was claiming to be the vice president of the institution. So in the rescission, Mohammed Hamid was signing the and executing that rescission as if he were the vice president of Bank of America. Immediately thereafter, uh, Mohammed Hamid and also the same notary executed an assignment from Wells Fargo to Nation Star. This time, Mohammed Hamid was acting as if he was the vice president of Wells Fargo. This, this was disclosed two weeks after the end of discovery. Then, two days before the trial uh, that was to determine the quiet title dispute between the Gordon B. Hansen Trust and the Jimmy Jack Irrevocable Trust, Nation Star, doing business as Mr. Cooper, Substitute declared that it was the present beneficiary, Mr. Cooper, and that as the, pre the present beneficiary, or Nation Star, doing business as Mr. Cooper, LLC, declared itself both the, the trustee and the present beneficiary, and added on the third page of this document that Nation Star accepted the appointment as trustee and executed this reconveyance of removing the lien of the disputed Hanson deed of trust, but not reconveying it to the borrower, reconveying it to the individual who held the recorded title at that time, two days before the trial. Joel A. Stokes, non-party to the previous proceedings, Joel A. Stokes as an individual um, received the reconveyance.